all right what's going on youtube so i legit forgot i was so excited about dez i straight up forgot about uh justin houston so excuse me for that we're just gonna keep this going but uh as you can see 61 of 69 already on dez uh, i'm gonna show you guys who the expensive people are for now um these two team of the weeks are expensive for now they're probably gonna drop those since they got put back in packs but uh, this guy has been expensive for a while. But like I said, since he's been put back in packs, um, whenever people pull like this weekend or whatnot, um, his price is definitely going to drop uh, whenever something comes out for people to pull for. Uh, his price is going to drop. I know that for a fact. Um, also, this Devontae Adams price is going to drop uh, when people like same thing when people start pulling more packs and have something to actually open packs for his price is gonna drop um but the the, the main pain in the ass is one this eddie royal is at like 30k you can see right here 28k don't really want to pay that for him i might have to i don't know i gotta check my other accounts first i know i have this josh gordon on one of my other accounts that's why i didn't even touch him yet uh, I'm gonna go pick him up. And then these two bastards right here. Mainly this asshole Tavon Austin. Um, Brandon Gibson's like 40k. Which, once again, it's not horrible, but I don't really want to pay it. Like, if I really wanted to, I could buy him in Emmanuel Sant- Not Emmanuel, uh, Eddie Royal right now. Just to get it over with. But I really just don't want to pay that for them too. I mean, even though technically it's still kind of worth it. Because uh, Dez is going for like 600k. And buying them would still only put me at like 200k and then after buying Tavon I would still only be at like 300 and then buying the two team of the weeks would still be like 400 so it's still technically worth it a little more worth it to me but I really just don't want to pay that uh I'm gonna have to go check on Tavon first see if I have him in one of my other accounts hopefully I do I probably don't but hopefully I do but as you can see 140k for Tavon for base gold Tavon Austin god i don't want to pay that for this bastard but i might have to um like i said i gotta go check my other accounts first for tavon brandon gibson um eddie royal's not horrible i just really don't want to pay 28k for eddie royal and then uh there's the two team of the week elites uh Devontae adam and eric decker the 290 overs and also this brandon marshall is also kind of expensive but i already knew he was gonna be expensive so i kind of stockpiled on him i had like four of him so i put one in a set i got a couple more up on the auction block right now so i'll get some points from that and i'll see which one of these cards i'm gonna buy after i get the coins from selling all those brandon marshalls but yeah i already knew he was gonna be expensive because he was pretty rare to begin with and he's a 92 overall and i knew he was gonna go in this set because he didn't go in the other set so yeah i already had a couple of him that i got for like 40 50k when people were people were throwing them up for like 40 50k before and every time i seen it i would just snag him so i would just hold on to him because i knew he was gonna go into this set and i knew people were gonna throw him back up for crazy ridiculous prices because he went into this set so yeah i had a couple of him he's up on the auction block right now um but like i said i forgot all about justin houston so i guess we need to go check on this justin houston because I have no clue what he looks like. Like I literally forgot that uh <laughs> that Justin Houston came out. Like seriously. Honestly, the, the the other reason I forgot is because I don't think he's gonna even touch uh DeMarcus Ware. Honestly. I, I could be wrong. But let's look at him and compare him to DeMarcus at the same time. God damn, I am definitely wrong. Why did they do that? So, I, I thought the Ultimate Team players were supposed to be, like, the best players at their positions. But, the positional, some of the positionals are kicking their ass as this Justin Houston is destroying DeMarcus. Oh my god, this is stupid. He is whooping DeMarcus. Yo, I might have to sell DeMarcus and pick this Justin Houston up. <laughs> he is whooping DeMarcus' ass. He has 100 Excel. To beat Demarcus's 99, didn't think that was gonna happen. 92 speed, 97 tackle, 92 play rec, 98 block shed, 99 pursuit, 82 zone coverage. I wonder if he has better like power move and finesse move than Demarcus. Bruh, 
bruh, this fucking Justin Houston, though. Like, I did not think he would... Damn, he only has 45 catch, though. Them hands. Like, I thought Demarcus's catch was bad, but damn. 45. And I actually use Demarcus in coverage sometimes. Ah. I don't know. That's the iffy one right there. Houston has better catch. He has better jump. Uh, he's an inch shorter, though. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, my God. 102 power move? Really? Really? Really, EA? Really? He is literally... It's, it's, it's literally like they took DeMarcus's where? No, DeMarcus's. They took DeMarcus's attributes and they threw them on Justin Houston and then they were like, alright, now we're gonna upgrade some stuff. Because that's literally like what they did, except that he has one less finesse move than DeMarcus. But other than that, um, he has everything else DeMarcus has but better. And... I don't know because this DeMarcus play is amazing. So if Justin Houston's stats are better, you would think he would just play ridiculous. You would think. I don't know though. I don't know because it's iffy because this DeMarcus plays so much better than he looks. And I feel like Justin Houston looks better than DeMarcus, but he might not play as good. I don't know. I don't know. I might have to see. I might have to sell DeMarcus and pick up this Justin Houston uh, and see what he's working with because his stats are just... Oh my god. Like, these are crazy. And he has 99 hit power. Could you make him any better, EA? God damn. Like, seriously, I, I honestly thought that's what the Ultimate Team cards were for. Like, I thought that's why they were the Ultimate Legends, the Ultimate Team. Like, they were supposed to be, like, the most juiced cards at their position outside of, like, Golden Tickets, obviously. And then EA decides we're gonna put out some of these. Some of these positionals are just gonna be super juiced, um, because some of the positionals are average or not average, but like are good 99s, or just like just barely 99s. Like Julio is a good 99, and fucking uh, the running back Le'Veon is like a just barely 99 card that they just threw some stats on. And then some of these cards, like Dez with 98 speed, like, yeah, Dez is fast, but 98 speed, 99 Excel? Real? No. And then Justin Houston having ridiculous, like, he's good, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Justin Houston does not deserve a really good card, but damn, like, I thought they were, like, supposed to be juicing the shit out of these Ultimate Team cards. And then the positional left outside linebacker comes out, and he's juicing this shit out of the fucking DeMarcus Ware. Like, he's destroying the DeMarcus Ware. Literally destroying him. The only thing he's not beating him in is strength. And he's behind him in one. By by one in finesse move. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna have to sell DeMarcus and, um, pick up this Justin Houston. I don't think I'm gonna do the set, though. I think I'm just gonna straight up buy Justin Houston. Uh, 300. He's at, like, three-something right now. Because, yeah, he's 350 I know DeMarcus is selling for cheaper than that. So, I'm going to have to sell DeMarcus and move some other things around. I mean, I need to sell one of my receivers anyway because we're about to get Dez. So, yeah, I'll probably sell DeMarcus and sell one of the receivers. I don't know which one yet. I'll see uh, probably between Hester and Deshaun. Uh, because I really like that Emmanuel Sanders. I picked up Emmanuel Sanders, if y'all didn't see. But yeah, I really like that Emmanuel Sanders. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to sell one of the receivers. Probably Deshaun, because he's the more expensive one. And Emmanuel is built basically just like Deshaun, except he's a little bit slower. But, uh, he's still really fast, so we can deal with that. And Dez is crazy fast, so... Yeah, yeah, Justin Houston looks ridiculous. So yeah, I'm gonna have to pick up that Justin Houston. But uh, we're going in this one here, Monix, and I'm out of here.